Welcome back, everybody, to another Emacs video. Today, I wanted to talk about the org mode agenda, kind of in an introductory surface level way to give you the, the basics. Now, if you decided to use org mode as your primary system for managing to-do lists and calendars and things, the org mode agenda is going to be the place where you collect all the information and plan and execute on your your objectives and things whether that's as simple as just having a list of to-do items you need to work through or managing uh, lots of complicated projects with different due dates um, or even with um, not just yourself but maybe a whole team as well so the the agenda can handle quite a bit i've thrown quite a bit at it over the years just as a test to see how it does and it it works surprisingly well and uh, so today I thought I would just do a little brief introduction to it and um, and just talk about it. Nothing nothing too too crazy. So here we go. I've got a little org file going here. So the, the org mode agenda, so as I mentioned, it's good for things like to-do lists. So if you have an org file and you have a bunch of to-do items in it, uh, you can use the agenda to pull up just a list of those to-do items. And you can actually, let me move this up. You can pick a file or multiple files and just put information into them, to-do items or projects. And the, the agenda will actually pull all of those together. So you can have it pull from multiple files. It doesn't have to be just one. So if you have one file that's just for your to-do items, you can use that. If you have one file for projects, you can use that, or you can do it all in the same file depending on how you want to organize it. Uh, over the years, I've tried different ways. I've tried the multiple file approach and then the single file one. And uh, single file actually for, for what I was doing, which is writing you know a lot of um, uh, technical articles and blog posts and things, uh, you can actually manage that pretty well even from one file if you have different deliverables that go to different places. Uh, because you get a lot of different ways to categorize things. So you, you have the to-do states. If you're familiar with org mode, you have the to-do states. You also have categories and you have, you know, different headings that you can nest things under. And the agenda can use all of that in different ways. So it depends on how you want to, to organize your files, basically. And uh, so, so if you have, let's say, a list of to-do items one of the nice things is that if you wanted to just have, say, um, out of your general or your big list of to-do items, if you just wanted to have, you know, errands. So you're you're going to be driving around today and you want to just see errands, you can, you can click a button and have it just show the errands and then bring everything back. And, uh, and as well for, for having a calendar. So the, the org mode agenda can also give you a, a breakdown of the week or a month or even just your day and tell you if you've scheduled certain items for that day or if you schedule to start working on something on a certain day or if, if you set a deadline, it'll actually tell you how many days you have left before that next thing is due. So as I may have mentioned in a previous video, um, in, in my org mode system, I was using the daily view because what, what would happen is if uh, in, in a week, if you have, let's say, a deadline of something on Thursday and it's Monday um, and you open up the agenda, you'll see the deadline warning and then you'll see you'll see the item again uh, repeating itself, which isn't isn't bad, but it can be a little redundant. So I found it was helpful to just use the day view. And uh, so, yeah, once you have your file or multiple files, you add them to the list of agenda files. And then when you open the agenda, it'll check those files and give you your little breakdown of, of what you want to look at. And of course, the way you get there is um, if you have programmed this, this key, you do have to put in your config file for control C and then the letter A to bring up the agenda dispatcher on the bottom here. And uh, so you can see, I can click A to get an agenda for the current week or day. I can click T just to get a list of to-do entries. M will match, you know, tags and properties or other things like that. Um, and so, as I said, you have a lot of different ways to categorize things and then search for them later. So 
uh, really the the system is highly customizable it's very you can be tailored very uniquely to what you need so just sit and think about that for a minute and if you want to close the dispatcher you can hit q so what we'll do is i think we'll do the example that i talked about which is having a to-do list and categorizing it in different ways so let's say you have a to do um what's the default state oh <laughs> i have different i have different default states um so uh so that's fine so for the first to do item let's say oh you know what actually this is a file so we can have we can have our own our own to do state here let's just use the classic to do and done so to do so let's say um, pick up pens. Need pens for writing. So let's control C, control X, and the letter P to put a property of category. AT category. And the category value, um, that's an errand, let's say. So we'll say errands. So now if you go down, you have a property category of errands and then another to do um, uh, clean out garage so categorize that as um, you know house so that's house chores uh, what else let's have a to do of um, maybe another house chore um, get uh, at medicine. Eh, well, that kind of sounds like an errand. So let's choose errand again. What else can we do? So now we have multiple errands. We have one house. Let's do one more. Uh, clean windows. House. All right. So I think that'll be pretty good for a demonstration. So now, um, if I open up the agenda, you'll see, I want to see letter T, a list of to-do entries. Right now, there's nothing because the uh, this file that I was working in hasn't been added to the list of agenda files. So you can do that with a hotkey, but actually, just for the sake of simplicity, you can click on org up here in the, in the menu bar and go to... Um, file list for agenda, add, move current file to front of list. It's control C and the left bracket. Actually, that's the hotkey. So that's good. So click on that. So now file added to front of agenda file list. So if this works, we should be able to hit C, A, and the letter T. And there you go. You can hit the letter O to expand that. So we have um, all of, of the to-do items listed here and in the order I have them in the file. Uh, but you can you can actually customize different agenda views to categorize things in different in different or sort things in, in different ways like alphabetically or by by dates, other things. So now let's say to use my example, I'm going out of the house and I want to just see errands. So that'll be the, the left uh, shift and the, the left, the other, the other left bracket that's on the on the key with the, with the comma, uh, the the less than symbol. That's right. So shift and, and the less than symbol will drop me into just errands because I was hovering over an item that's categorized as errands. So so shift less than symbol, and then you you can you can keep clicking that to select and unselect, uh, of course, and then house as well does the same thing. So it's it's a very it's a very nice way. Of, of categorizing different to-do items that you have. So one of the great things is that this all comes down to how quickly you work, right? So if you if you have, um, like, let's say you're doing the GTD system, uh, your quickest way of capturing something is on your little notepad, right? You quickly jot something down, put it in your inbox. And then at the end of the day, or whatever, you go through your inbox and you grab, you know, your little, your little notebook, uh, sheets of paper and then you just go into your org file and you can capture them by, by writing them in um, or you can even do it faster by having capture templates 
That's something we can talk about in another video. Um, so it, it's really, you can have um, total simplicity or maximum complexity. It, uh, it depends on how you want to organize it. But yeah, that is a, that's a basic rundown of, of the to-do lists. Um, while we have time here, we could talk about the um, uh, like using the calendar features. So for example, if I hit control C and control S, I can schedule this uh, clean windows for uh, tomorrow, the, the 25th, let's say. So now it's it's scheduled for uh, for Saturday. And the when when you schedule something with the um, with the schedule feature, what it does is it just puts like a, a marker on that day. So let me show you if I hit uh, A for the for the current agenda and hit W for week, because I, as I mentioned, I have it by on the day as default. So you'll see here scheduled for Saturday is to do clean the windows. And um, so if I quit that, so let's change this to um, let's change this to a deadline to show you how, how that works. So if that needs to get done on Saturday, close control C A and then A again and for a week. Oh, I think I so the reason you're seeing the long file name in there is because I think I accidentally deleted my category property. Put that back. Okay. So now control C, A, A. So you'll see on, on my day view here, remember we didn't see anything on the day view before. Now we see uh, my agenda for today, Friday, June 24th. In one day, got to clean the windows there. So there, so that's um, that's uh, how you can use scheduling and deadlines to to use some of the calendar features and the agenda as well. And um, you'll notice here if you do Control C and A, you'll see that if you click Capital C, you can configure your own custom agenda commands. So if I want to make my own view that is going to be the agenda, the the calendar, and the to do list. The, the long to-do list I showed you, you can program that and have that all in one view if you want. Um, and uh, so, and you can you can make views that are of, as I said, any complexity. You can throw anything in there. So so yeah, that's about it. That's a, a rundown of the of the org mode agenda, and um, an easy way to get started, I think. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know. We'll see what we can figure out. But thanks for watching, and. Get your stuff sorted out. Use your agenda. Have fun. See you all next time.